Hi students, today we are working on Lesson 25, Session 1. It is Exploring Fractions as Tenths and Hundredths. We are on page 519. Um, this is our Volume 2 math book. So go ahead and get out your math book and let's get started. Doss rides his bike home. He has seven tenths of a mile left to ride. Write an equivalent fraction to show how far Doss has left to ride in hundredths of a mile. Okay, so right here what we're going to be doing is writing an equivalent fraction to show how far Doss has left to ride in hundredths of a mile. Um, something that we already know is that um, he has seven tenths of a mile left to ride. So now we just have to, um, we can draw a model or we can use numbers to do it. Um, I'm going to start with a model. I actually, um, over here on page 518, I cut out the, um, the two graphs here because I felt like it would be easier to show you on here um, what it would look like if we were going to be, um, you know, using a model to complete this. So if you want to do that, you can pause this video and just cut out the two pictures that were right there. Okay, so um, it says that we have seven tenths of a mile and we're wanting to change it to an equivalent fraction that has hundredths. So if we were going to write that with numbers, we would say that we have seven tenths, which is equal to something over 100. So we have to multiply, what, figure out what are we multiplying each of these by to get 10 to 100 and 7 to something. That looks like this on a model. So on the first model, um, since we're working with tenths, you have seven tenths that are shaded in. Four, five, six, seven. And that means you should have three that are not. Now, if we were going to shade the exact same amount over here, so that way the exact same look is um, not shaded, this is what it would look like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So even though those are split up into different size pieces, they still have the same amount shaded. They both have seven rows shaded. Just that in this one, each row is worth one, but over here, each row is worth ten. So if I'm looking down here and I'm thinking about this, well, if I count this up, I'm going to see that that is seventy. Well, how do I get this to that? Like, what do I multiply by to get that to be changed? Well, if you know your multiplication facts, before you even do this, you should be able to tell that 10 times 10 equals 100. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top, which means that the top would be 70. So 7 tenths is an equivalent fraction to 70 one hundredths. So he has seven, he has three tenths of a mile left to ride. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 520. On 520, it says, explain how you could use multiplication to find a fraction with a denominator of 100 that is equivalent to seven tenths. Well, that's the exact same thing that we did over there. Um, we asked ourselves, what do I multiply this by to get 100 over there? And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And I figured out that that number was 10. So that means I do 10 to the top, which we find is 70. Every fraction with a denominator of 10 can be written as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Because 100 is an equivalence to 10. So um, on this one, it says the model at the right is divided into 10 equal parts, or tenths. How many parts are shaded? Well, there's seven parts shaded. And this word tenths is going to be something that we want to pay attention to. 
If you split each tenth into ten equal parts, the whole is now divided into hundred equal parts or hundredths. That's another word that we're going to want to remember. How many hundredths of the part are shaded? It's seventy. So then down here, we're doing what we've already done. Seven tenths is equal to seven tenths times ten equals seventy one hundredths. You can also use money to think about equivalent fractions with a denominator of 10 and 100. Think of one dollar or 100 cents. So if you think about a dollar, a dollar has 100 pennies in it. So if I have one dime, that is 10 pennies or 10 cents. So 10 cents is equal to 10 hundredths of a dollar. Or if you think of one dime, it is one-tenth of a dollar. So one-tenth is equal to ten one-hundredths. Okay, now down here at the bottom it says, how can you use equivalent fractions to write tenths as hundredths? So one of the um, explanations you can use is um, fractions with a denominator of 10 multiply the numerator and denominator by 10 to get 100. Okay, now let's move over here to page 521. On 521, um, even though we've been using some of these words for a while now, um, it's still important to review them, and then we're going to add a couple of new ones to it, tenths and hundredths. We've used tenths a few times whenever we were talking about fractions um, in our other units, but hundredths is something that we haven't really worked with yet, so we're going to add that one. So um, a numerator is the number above the line in a fraction, or it's also the parts shaded. The denominator is the number below the line in a fraction. It's also the parts of the whole. And I skipped my example here. So the numerator, if we have like the fraction 3 eighths, this would be the numerator. Again, if we have the fraction 3 eighths, this bottom number is the denominator, and hopefully we all know that by now. Now, tenths. Tenths is the parts of the whole split into ten equal parts. So as in this, three tenths, or you could write it three tenths. And then our last one is hundredths, the parts of the whole split into 100 equal parts, or you could say it could be 31 hundredths, whoops, that's a thousand, 31 hundredths, and you just put 100, but instead of the D, you put the THS on the end. All right, down at the bottom, it says, write 7 tenths and 7 hundredths as fractions. Okay, 7 tenths, 
seven hundredths. Okay. Tell us how the two fractions are alike and how they are different. Well, they have the same numerator. but different denominators. So that's how they're different. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to page 522. Okay. Akiko jogs to the park. She has six-tenths of a mile left to jog. Write an equivalent fraction to show how far Akiko has left to jog and hundredths of a mile. Okay, so this problem is going to be just like that first problem that we saw um, when we started this lesson. So we're making equivalent fraction to six from six-tenths to hundredths. So we can write it like this to begin. We don't know what this number is. We learned today that any time we have 10, we can multiply it by 10 to get 100. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So that means it should be 60 one hundredths. So Akiko has 60 one hundredths of a mile left to jog. And then down here it says to show your work. This is one way you can show your work. Or you can also use um, where we did like the 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And um, you can shade in 1, 2, 3, 4, the 6. And then you can divide it up into... The 100 pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then again, you two, three, four, would still divide it in, like shade the same part, whereas you could see that 6 tenths is equal to 60 one hundredths here. That is it for lesson one. I will see you back for lesson two.